Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make this exact animation in Blender 2.8 in Eevee. As always, it's going to be a quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. And before we begin, make sure to download the latest version of Blender 2.8. The link is in the description. Okay, so click X to delete the default cube, and then go to Add, and then go to Mesh, and then add a UV sphere. And then click S to scale, and then left click to confirm the scale, and then we need to add a modifier. So uh, go to the modifiers, and then add a subdivision surface modifier, which adds additional polygons to the object. And then set the amount of subdivisions to three, and then apply the modifier. And then go to object, and then add smooth shading as well. And then the next step is to add an empty. So uh, go to add once again, and then empty, and then add a sphere. And then click S to scale, and uh, this empty will control the rotation of the planet. So left click to confirm. And then uh, select the sphere. And then click Shift D to duplicate. And then click Shift Set to move the duplication only on the X and Y axis. And then left click to confirm the position of the uh, duplication. And then click S to scale it down. And then we need to set the sphere parent to the empty. So uh, hold in shift and select the empty, and then click control P and set the sphere parent to the empty. Now select the empty, and then click R, then set to rotate the empty on the z-axis. As you can see, the planet rotates around the sun, and then we need to animate it. So click N to see the transform settings, and then click I to keyframe the rotation value. And then let's move forward in time, let's go to frame 250, which is the end of the animation. And then let's set the set value to 800 degrees. And then click I to keyframe the new value. And as you can see, when we move on the timeline, it speeds up and then slows down again. So we need to change the animation type to a more linear type. So uh, let's open a new window. And then go to the graph editor. And then click T to change the keyframe interpolation. And then let's set it to linear so that uh, the speed is constant for the rotation. And uh, then let's pause. And uh, let's go to the first frame. And then we need to select the planet. And since we need the empty at the location of the planet, we need to click Shift S and move the cursor to the selected object. So Shift S and then cursor to selected. And then go to Add and then Empty and then add a sphere. And I click S to uh, scale the uh, empty sphere. And then hold in shift while you select the uh, sphere. And then click Control P to set the empty parent to the sphere. And then we need to select the uh, sphere. And uh, then let's duplicate it. So click Shift D, then Shift Set to move the duplication only on the X and Y axis. And I click S to scale it down. And then we need to set it parent to the planet. So um, hold in shift while you select the uh, empty. And then click control P to set it parent to the uh, planet empty. Okay, and when you move on the timeline, you can see that the moon follows the planet. But uh, we need it to rotate around the planet as well. So select the empty. And then click I to keyframe the rotation. And then let's go to frame 250. And uh, let's give the uh, moon rotation twice the speed of the planet. So uh, let's set it to uh, 1600. And then click I to keyframe. And then let's set the uh, keyframe interpolation to linear. So click T and then linear. And when we play the animation, you can see that we have both the uh, planet animation and the moon rotation animation. So uh, let's uh, create our first save before we continue. So go to File, and then Save As, and then give the file a name, and then you can save it wherever you want on the computer, and then click Enter to save. And let's hide the Graph Editor window, and uh, now we need to select the light source. So uh, select it, and then let's change it into a sun. Now, if you want to move the sun, you can click G to uh, grab the sun. And then let's go into rendered view. 
So go to the top right corner and then select rendered view. And as you can see, we have some very basic lighting. So uh, let's add a plane as well. So go to add and then mesh and then plane, which will be the floor. And I click G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And I click S to scale. And then I click uh, G, then set to grab it on the set axis once again. And then we need to add a background image. So go to the world settings. And then next to color, go to environment uh, texture. And then click open. And then you need to download one of these uh, HDRI images, which you can find in the link below. And I decided once again to use the Chelsea stairs. So uh, go back to Blender and open the HDR image. And as you can see, we have the background image in Blender. And uh, now it's time to add the materials and shaders. So uh, let's select the floor first. And then go to materials, new material. And let's change the surface type to a glossy one. And then let's make the color almost completely black. So something like this. And then let's decrease the uh, roughness. So let's set it to uh, 0.37. And then let's add a material for the sun as well. So select the sun. And then click new to add a new material. And let's change the surface type to a glossy type. And then let's set the uh, roughness to zero. And then let's give the sun an orange color. So something like this. And uh, then let's select the uh, planet. So let's select it. And then new material. And then glossy. And set the roughness to 0.25. And then let's make it blue. And then the next step is to add a uh, material for the uh, moon. So select the uh, moon. And then click new. And then glossy. And then set the roughness to 1. And then let's make it kind of uh, gray. With a little bit of brown. Now before I set up the camera and the uh, render, I will teach you how to make a few adjustments to the animation itself. So uh, let's select the sun. And I click S to scale. And let's also scale up the planet and the moon. And then select the floor and I click G. Then set to grab it on the set axis. You can also make adjustments to the position of the moon. So uh, let's select the moon. And I click G. Then shift set to move the object on the X and Y axis. So I'm just going to move it a bit closer. And then it's finally time to set up the camera. And you can also hide the overlay to see what it looks like in rendered view. But let's go back and uh, click numpad zero to look through the camera. And then lock the camera to view so that the camera follows your point of view. And then select the camera and increase the end value so that uh, the range of the camera increases. And uh, then let's move on the uh, timeline to make sure everything is within the frame of the camera throughout the whole animation. So just find a camera angle and camera position that you like before we continue on with the tutorial. And as always, you can also hide the uh, grid by hiding the overlay. And uh, then let's go into the output settings. And to increase the quality of the render, let's set the render and viewport sampling to 200. And then let's enable screen space reflections, which gives us sort of the mirror effect for the floor. And let's go into the render settings. And then let's change the frame rate to 30 FPS, which looks a bit better. And then let's find an output folder for the final animation. So just save the final animation wherever you want on the computer and then give the animation a name. This is going to be a video file. And then let's set the uh, file format to AVI JPEG, which uh, looks a bit better in my opinion. And then let's set the quality to 100%. If you know how to use PNGs, you can also use PNGs. And uh, let's uh, make our first uh, test render. So click render 
and then set the uh, display mode to uh, the image editor and then click render image to uh, render a test image. Now let's create a new save in case Blender crashes while you render. So go to file and then save as and then click on the plus sign and then save as blend file. And uh, then let's go back to the uh, 3D viewport. Now the test render only took a few seconds, so the final render will only take a few minutes. So uh, let's uh, go to render and then click render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll post more EVE tutorials very soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe.